Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Okay, let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that may be. We're going to use the tarot of sexual magic. I'm not sure what's going to come out. I feel extremely congested today, but I feel fine in myself. Okay. Are we going to talk about sex? Are we? We are. We are, we are, we are. Oh, let's see what the cards want to talk about. Listen. Do you want to know a secret? Okay, what kind of secret? Because are we talking about sex? Are we talking about love? Are we talking about romance? Are we talking about the actual blend of them? Come on, what are we talking about? What do you really want to talk about? Wow, okay. You want to talk about cupping? <laughs> well, he's cupping. Uh, this is the card of celebrating. Okay. You're in the palm of his hand. Very nice. Celebrate good times, come on. So do you remember? And then we have, uh, oh interesting. This is about remembering maybe when you were younger because I feel this energy of uh, a childhood sweetheart. So when you were younger but this connection, it's like you're grown up now. There's a child here bringing this together. And I believe it's this masculine's memories. Do you remember? Look, Cupid's coming out here. Got a little love heart. So this masculine's remember that he's, he remembers. Remember. Remember that you're a sucker for love. I'm a sucker for you. Ding, 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 ding. He remembers. It's like, well, that's nice to know. Um, interesting, because it was like not pulling your hair. You're pulling each other's, well, I'm not, no, just the feminine's pulling hair. It's her hair, his hair. He's taking her dress off. So, do you remember, do you remember, when I pulled your hair? <laughs> or maybe he didn't dare to pull your hair. <clears throat> He's too busy copping you. Okay. That's a vibe of swords, so surrender. He's surrendering to remembering. Interesting. Okay, what are you doing now? You're locking her up. Okay. Never gonna let you go, cause you're my baby. And you've got like baby doll shoes on here. Okay. He never wanted to let you go, ever. What's this? It felt, felt like a doctor's chair. You're in a sun lounger. I don't know what kind of chair this is. But he just wants to lock you in this chair. Keep you there forever. Look at the flames burning in the background. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I was feeling the energy of carpet burns, but I don't feel like you've got carpet burns. I feel like uh, the room being on fire. It's so hot in there with the two of you. You've even got a little fan here. Okay. So it's about like strapping you into that chair. It's like a recliner. Hmm. He wants to recline her. Then the energy of like um, reclaiming. This energy is like recycling around. Hmm. Are you pulling my hair? It's like all I can see is the tip of her. <laughs> 
is it the tip? I don't know, look, her buttocks. It's like you want to keep her as a keepsake, so you can understand why the memories are coming through. They're good memories. Um, the energy of him actually just wanting to do anything for you. Um, it's very much the masculine here honouring the feminine, like whatever I can do to make you happy. This is so much the energy of really falling in love. He's heading towards like, well, the Holy Grail. Holy moly, what's happened to him? You know, oh, it feels like the energy of being at your beck and call. And that's what he wants you to know, that he remembers. Okay. So the cards are the Three of Cups, celebrating, remembering the good memories. Okay. This here is Judgment card. And I felt the energy of you're a sucker for love and like judging yourself on is that a good thing? Well, it feels like it's a good thing. Where have you gone? Mm -mm -mm, good thing. You've been gone too long. Are you pulling my hair? Uh, the Five of Swords, the card of surrender. So I feel this masculine as well. He's wanting to. Um, you're his baby doll. Okay. And he wants to well, keep you. You're his keepsake. It's like he'll do anything for you. So he's intoxified. He's a sucker for you. A sucker for love. Bottom of the deck. <clears throat> okay. Now what's this energy? Because this is a strength card here. And it's like you're raring to go. Who is this that's stopping you? Because this isn't the same energy as the feminine here. Now I can look at it a different way with the hair colour and say this is this feminine, this is this feminine. Just because the hair colour is slightly more... Uh, Golden. Mm. Well, we're going to have to look into this, who this strength card is. Okay, so. You are a sucker for love, but this is holding you back. We're going to the affirmators. have a look. A manifestation. Mm. I felt the energy of, are you kidding me? Um, that something else could be pulling on the masculine here, but he's a sucker for love. The angel's pointing to him. So there is a child here. And the energy of, are you pulling my hair? Are you kidding me? So I'm not sure whether the masculine musing on his past, like, um, connection with the feminine if this is a karmic energy it's like i feel like all of a sudden she could be on board with some of this stuff that he's been visualizing doing with the feminine like the divine feminine and i feel like there might have been like she's picked up on this energy and started to maybe become a bit more adventurous and he's like are you kidding me so it's like he surrendered but also but it's look you've manifested it Okay. If you could have anything you wanted, what would it be? Get specific and get greedy. You are holding a magic wand and you can conjure up anything. 
Could it be that when you declare your wishes out loud, you're actually casting a spell for your dreams to come true? Or is it just that, in a very practical sense, the more people you speak with about your desires, the more folks there are who know what you want and might have the means to help you make them happen? Either way, stop waiting and start manifesting, but don't use that word if you don't want to. <clears throat> very strong energy here that what you're manifesting, uh, your thoughts with your Divine Feminine. If there's a karmic partner um, who's in the picture, she may be starting to behave like um, what you're wanting to experience, but you're not wanting to experience it with the karmic partner. You're wanting to experience it with your Divine Feminine. It's her that you're intoxicated with, but then it's like the karmic partner all of a sudden starts to become, um, well, you've manifested what you desire. It's kind of like just with the wrong person. So you might have kind of said, oh, I wish my partner was like my divine feminine. <laughs> but you don't really mean that. Okay, so listen, we manifest everything that we experience. Um, very interesting here. I um, I actually was going to share this, it, but I didn't really know <laughs> who to title it to. I actually wanted to write Dear Karmic and then share this with you. I saw this on a post on Facebook today. So I copied the photo, or I saved the photo, and it was just interesting. And I think it comes in perfectly. I didn't share it. Uh, maybe because it's better if I kind of read it out to you. So I was just going to put Dear Karmic <clears throat> and then share this uh, this picture here. I did not unlove you overnight. No, I unloved you in bits of pieces over time. I grew a new skin that you could never touch a new heart that you could never break, and a new soul that you could never corrupt. This is how I unloved you, slowly, slowly, painfully, but with no regrets. So I did not unlove you overnight. No, I unloved you in bits of pieces over time. I grew a new skin that you could never touch, a new heart that you could never break, and a new soul that you could never corrupt. This is how I unloved you, slowly, painfully, but with no regrets. I actually felt the energy of going to the Bible there. Let me just get my, <clears throat> my little jar, listen to the Lord. Shall we have a look and see what wants to come out? Let me just give these a, a shake around. Okay. There's three pink ones together. Should we take them? Let's do it. Let's put these other ones back in. I think I just want them three. Thank you. So no more. Oh, cheeky. Okay. Should we have a look at these messages? Oh yes, let's do that. John. 4.18 The fact is The fact is, you have five husbands, and the man you now have is not your husband. What you have just said is quite true. The fact is, you have five husbands, and the man you now have is not your husband. What you have just said is quite true. Deuteronomy, I believe it's 
believe that's how you say it. Deuteronomy. Thirty-one, six. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And you've got Cupid's arrow pointing at you, divine masculine. Spin that around. There's this fear of being scared here of this character. And then we have Psalm 107, 1. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Okay? And then shall we go to... Mr. Green Man, Mr. Green Man, Psalm twenty seven twelve. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, spelt in malicious accusations. Okay. So do not turn me over to the desires of my foes. For false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. We need to find out a bit more about this. Okay. Listen, it's obviously a topic we need to talk about. Let's go to the Oracle of Shadows and Light. Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> And I said, hey, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, hey, <clears throat> what's going on? Who are we asking? The four non-blondes. Well, I picked up a golden tinge to the hair in comparison to the other characters. So. <clears throat> let's, let's speak to someone who's not a blonde. Okay. As in, let's speak to someone who knows what they're talking about. <laughs> Sewer Mermaid, your sensuality is beautiful. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> oh my god, I really feel like someone might be quite poorly. Like if you've got a chest infection, someone's infected your heart. Sewer Mermaid, <clears throat> your sensuality is beautiful. Card number 25. I felt that about being on like the outer edge of the bullseye. Okay, do I say the rim of the bullseye? Uh, 25, it's a green area before we go to the red area. Okay, which would be 50, it's the bullseye. Look, okay, let's just read this card. <clears throat> When the sewer mermaid swims in, she is here to remind you of the treasures you have that you may have labelled bad and perhaps even pushed away, forced underneath. We often have negative thoughts that we are too short, too tall, our thighs too large, our breasts too small, our hair not right, our face not pretty enough. We speak to ourselves in negative ways and we begin to feel we are not good enough. And when this takes place, the result can be that we begin to create negative experiences, blockages and difficulties. We push people away rather than attract them. We hide for fear that what others see will not be good enough. But this mermaid of the hidden spaces is here to show you that your dark thoughts have told you lies about your great beauty. You are your own self, and all that you are is perfect, whole and complete. The sewer mermaid says that you may try to push her away and refuse to believe that you are beautiful, 
but when you are ready, she will swim to you and free you from all the harmful negative thoughts and experiences all the sewage. You will begin to believe that no matter what, you are a beautiful being, healthy, attractive, and one who deserves love, respect, and affection. Well, over the last couple of days, I think we've been top touching on the topic of beauty, and I feel if this masculine here has actually accepted, uh, and he now believes that no matter what, he is a beautiful being, he's healthy, he's attractive, and one who deserves love, respect, and affection. This is what he is manifesting now. So it's kind of like the opposite. You could you, you manifest with what you put your attention on. Anyway, the sewer mermaid speaks. I'm here to show you how to believe in yourself, that you are attractive, beautiful and worthy of love and respect. I will show you how to see your body as a place of health, delight and strength. And I will never die or go away, no matter what you have been told no matter what you have told yourself and no matter what your society has told you. Let's clean up your physical and mental acts. Let's love all aspects of the physical self. Let us not criticise and hate ourselves no matter our size, shape or differences. I just want to put a stop here. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Because I felt this is the karmic energy who's had our turnaround. Okay, she's supporting the masculine. And she's not going to go away no matter what. Doesn't matter what he looks like, his shape, his size, his health, it, she's going to help him. She's going to help to get the divine masculine better. This is like the karmic energy. Okay, so all of a sudden she's like on his side rooting for him. Okay, it was this part where it says, I will show you how to see your body as a place of health, delight, and strength. It's like she's changed her chin, and I will never die or go away. No matter what you have been told, no matter what you have told yourself and no matter what your society has told you. Let's clean up your physical and mental acts. Let's love all aspects of the physical self. Let us not criticise and hate ourselves no matter our size, shape or differences. We are all unique expressions of the divine and that truth most certainly applies to you. Let us not be ashamed anymore. Let us celebrate who we are and learn to love the differences and be grateful for all that we have, are and will be. Okay. So. The divination message. Part of you that is natural and beautiful, most likely your body and appearance, has been influenced by thoughts and ideas about it being unworthy, unhealthy and perhaps even dirty. So, a part of you has had to evolve and exist in a less than healthy way. It is time to clean up your act, not of your natural looks, but of the way you have thought about yourself. Something beautiful has been treated badly. It is now up to you to begin to reframe your ideas and thoughts, and therefore your experiences of yourself, your body, your worth, your ability to attract others, and to see yourself as worthy of love, respect and consideration. Now, if this karmic energy here has like now changed her tune and gradually over time, uh, as that statement that I read out said, you know, I've just unloved you gradually in pieces, you don't really forget that kind of stuff. And the comparison between uh, the, how the Divine Feminine has made the Divine Masculine feel in comparison to how this karmic energy has made the Divine Masculine feel in the past is um, there's a massive difference, a massive comparison now and for someone to all of a sudden change their tune in the back of your mind you're always kind of like well how long will this last? I always like to take the energy of you know you have my trust from the start but you can kind of lose that rather than not trusting someone from the start but I feel now the Divine Masculine is not really sure who and what he can trust. But he's definitely seeing the comparison here. Let this strong survival mermaid show you how to love yourself and your appearance again and rise above the rubbish and stink of negative conditioning, negative conditioning regarding your beautiful body and unique self. 
You are beautiful and very worth loving. This is the only truth that must be told at this time. <clears throat> okay. I'm singing two songs. Um, well, stand up for your love rights. I still love you. Je ne sais pas pourquoi. That theme of Paris has been coming up. I keep seeing the Eiffel Tower, pictures of the Eiffel Tower, mentions of it. So Paris is coming up. And it came up yesterday when I was uh, chatting with Original in my uh, in my last video. Okay, where are we going from here? I'm going to go to the energy cards. <clears throat> so when I come on, I was singing like, let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me, who, you know, it's kind of, I feel this is a karmic energy. <clears throat> It's like now that you see your own worth, Divine Masculine, this karmic energy is starting to see your worth as well, but I feel like it's a, it's a little too late. The card is a man holding a coin. <clears throat> A male connections in money, health or value. This card shows a, man's, a man, <laughs> a mound, I wanted to call it. This card shows a man sitting in a lushly flowering field holding a large bright coin. For men, this card could indicate an aspect of yourself or a readiness to further your goals and receive increased health money or value in your life. Greater success is on its way when you take control of your own finances and act. This card upright could also reveal the assistance of a financial advisor or healer whom you already know or are soon to meet. This man is helpful and may bring sage advice concerning the action you need to take next. Be open to this person showing up with support but always turn to your own intuitive guidance to weigh the information you receive. This could also signify a new love interest with a wealthy man or a man from work. Let's get one more card. The well. Card number 29. Expansion and opening up. The man in this picture is looking out over a bay above which the beautiful sphere of the earth is rotating. This card is reminding you to expand your vision and contemplate some much broader options. The world is wide, so there's a lot out there to consider. In the modern age of technology, this could specifically be referring to creating or expanding to a more global network through the internet or social marketing. Drawing this card also lets you know that you have unlimited resources available to you. And now it's the time to think big. As they say, the world is your oyster, so get ready to gobble it up. It feels like a very confusing time for the Divine Masculine um, that's coming through. I'm not even sure what guidance to come. We could go to a Heal Yourself card. <clears throat> I 
on the bottom of the deck here is say what you mean it's like someone's covering their ears I don't feel drawn to actually read the card I just wanted to point it out Entrapment. I was feeling this energy of, um, of, are you kidding me? You know, are you pulling my hair? Are you doing this now? After like all this time of you desiring that someone would behave a certain way. So there's this entrapment energy here. <clears throat> Card number 34. You are letting too many things in your environment control your life. You have drawn this card because it is time for a shift in personal power. You are encouraged to take responsibility for your life and choose new ways of thinking that create change. The reality is that for you to make the changes you want, need and desire, you need a system, daily discipline and motivation. As long as you blame outside influences, for any circumstances in your life, you are powerless. It's the government, your abusive background, the interest rates and the bank's fault. The system that, men, that many ultra-successful people use is they read books every day, they listen to audios, they go to as many seminars as they can, practice recognising others' achievements and form relationships with like-minded people. I do feel it's a bit of an act that's going on underneath here that's it does feel like maybe it's about the finances, the money. The action, ask yourself, are the people in my life building me up and inspiring me? If not, is it time to take charge and to start making change in your environment? Your first step could be cutting out all negative media from your daily life. Another important action could involve changing your diet, cutting out sugar, food with MSG and GMO, and replacing them with fresh organic vegetables. Take a moment and say the following statement to yourself or out loud. I am in control of my life. Nothing can affect me unless I choose to let it. My thoughts create my reality. Keep repeating this statement until you feel stronger. Eventually you will believe it. It will help you to make new choices. Remember your words and self-talk are very powerful in altering your physiology. <clears throat> Interesting. I'm going to leave you with some daily guidance from your angels. We didn't really get to talk about sex, did we? No. Okay. Another time. Hopefully, another time. Let's finish with some daily guidance from your angels. Go for it. Your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on this situation since its genesis. And we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path as it will take you very far indeed. Okay. Go for it. You drew this card as encouragement for the situation you're asking about. The angels reassure you of a positive outcome provided you continue to pour love and guided action into the situation. Additional meanings for this card, don't hesitate, now is the right time. You're on the right path. The idea that you have is divinely inspired and the angels foresee a successful outcome. There you go, we will get to talk about sex, baby. Okay. Right, I'll catch up with you guys later. 
until then just trying to find the cursor no more cursing until then take care much love bye for now